What's up guys and welcome back to another Disney Cars unboxing. Today I will be showing you Bud the Super Chase Bud RV. And I'm very excited to open this guy because as I said in my intro, he's a Super Chase. And that is actually very hard to find but I actually did not get this in the stores. I got mine off Amazon. That's where maybe everyone gets the cars if you can't find them in stores. Anyway, um, you can see that he's a super chase. He's a deluxe. There's a warning sign there for for choking because he has this little antenna thing that you you know what kids swallow. He has a little garage app, and as you see here, he does not have a number system like here. Let's bring out Telga Trunkov, Telga Grevin. Sorry for a second. You can see it's five out of eight right there. But on Vada V, he does not have any of that numbering system for a particular reason, I think. Maybe because they're not going to be, like, re re released. I don't really know why. Um, I can't really explain that. Okay, so that's go to the back. And uh, there's a bio in here that reads, Bud is a classy rig and long-time pissy cup. No, I list who got a funny and a dote for fair for every racer on the track for for just a few liters of dying oil. He'll probably spill a secret or two. And that I think that's explaining what about the character, which I think it's very cool. And here you can see Larry Camper and Doug RV. And under it, it says, Super Chase vehicles are limited to no more than 4,000 4, units produced. So I think that's saying only 4,000 die cast castings of Bud RV are being re-released. Have been re-released. And down here you can see um, the Daredevil Garage App instructions, which I don't use and I don't think any other collector uses. So... That is really it for the review of the packaging. Now let's open this guy up. Okay guys, here is Bud RV. He is big and proud. And here's the little antenna. It's nothing much, just two sticks and antenna. Little wiggly, you can see it wobbles. I recommend you not doing it so hard, so it won't come off. And you just put it in right here. It's good. This is going to take a while. Jeez. I've seen some people do this on video and they said it's hard to put in but there we go comes in and he won't come back out okay so there's Bud RV with his thing and you can see that he is mainly just plain whitish gray I can say there's not that much detail on him but he's still cool going but if we go to the back we can see this cool detailing of a jackalope and that is because it's from a, the short from Disney called Jackalope, I presume. I haven't really read much in the depths of this film here, but I'm pretty sure the film's called Jackalope. You can see his bright red tail lights, and in the front, he's smiling great detail on the headlights, mirrors, four skylights, I think these are, and three um, cooling systems. And he's actually a pretty heavy car, like, even with the packaging, he was pretty heavy. There's a base. And now let's review with some cars, other campers that I have here. The first one is Doug RV, and he is a pretty cool car. They're kind of similar, they both have those yellow things right there. Both very red tail lights, but as you see, he has no stripes on him. But Doug RV does. Actually, all the other campers I have have stripes on them. So the next one we're going to go to is Larry Camper. And the other thing about all the RVs I have right now, the all the unique model. Very cool, very cool cars. I actually really love the campers. They're one of my favorite gender of cars in the in the diecast line Barry Diesel a huge camper one of the biggest campers ever released in the cars line but I'm pretty sure not the heaviest 
you can see that he does have eight stripes again. And there's no dirt detail in like there he does. And now this is not a cars camper, and this is a different camper. This is Harvey from Planes Fire and Rescue. I just showed I just wanted to show him in this video because he is also a camper, so I think he deserves to be with Bud for a while. You can see that he's a completely different model. He's similar. He's a lot more similar to uh, Doug RV. A little bit. Not much. But you can see the difference in them. And last but not least, we're going to do a size comparison with the one and only Lightning McQueen. There he is. You can see that Bud is towering over Lightning McQueen. If you put them to the side, yeah, Bud, you're big. <laughs> you just tell over lightning, but not by much. They actually kind of look good together. Yeah, that's really it. And that, and I think that's also really it for this diecast unboxing video. I hope you liked the video. Um. This was a great video for me because it was my first Super Chase unboxing with you guys. So I hope you liked it. Um, see you next time. Bye.